Good morning, friends, stamping friends. I am uh, Corinne Braxton, and today is April 19th, 2022. And I am going to share some fun things with you today. Let's just check to see that we're transmitting first. I'll back up so I'm not so in your face here. Let me just see once if my if it's on if I can find myself on the computer. There we go. And now we have to check for some comments. See if anyone can find us. Let's see who's going to be first. I hope you all had a a good Easter weekend we did and oh hey Jan you're the first one this morning good to see you it's sort of a, a dreary day here in Montana Jan's over in eastern Montana I'm in western Montana but um it's dreary and it uh looks like it could rain it's in the 30s something like 35 degrees or something so it's rather dark today usually we have such sunny days and I have to pull the shades here in this house and uh, but today it's a little dreary looking um we had a our my little granddaughter Kate helped me all day Sunday she helped me cut strawberries and broccoli and Get, set the table and she just finished an etiquette class and she knew she knows all these fancy napkin tricks so she did all these fancy napkins it was really funny it's really really neat because actually she learned all these things and all of our napkins were already packed away placemats everything from the buffet was packed and so um, Kate's mother Millie had gone out and bought some napkins so Kate could do show and tell at school and set the napkins at our table for Easter so, well, ladies, we have 13 days left, 13 days left in this house and 13 days left of this catalog. So we move and the new catalog goes live all on the same day. That sounds pretty busy, doesn't it? Anyways, 13 days left of this. Um, this Friday and Saturday, I have a really big sale going on. Um, at my house, if you live close by, if you don't, you can order something from me and I'll ship you a mystery box. So this catalog, the annual catalog is leaving. There's still so many great things. This has been one of my all time favorites. All really one of the best catalogs I've ever seen. But this catalog goes until June, end of June. So, and then after that, we start getting things ready. We start getting the mini catalogs um, I'm going to set those right back there for now. And then this is a picture of the uh, the new catalog. It's very, it's sort of a light gray and this beautiful set on the front called Hues of Happiness. And that's what I'm using this morning. This is the brand new sneak peek because the catalog starts May 3rd. And anyway, this is, and your people have asked, like, what is that little shredded? Well, that's one of the dies that's in this set. So it's a really nice catalog. So those are starting to be shipped, and um, people should be getting those in the next week, I would guess. Some it, They're mailed by bulk in some. Hey, Munch, good to see you up in northern Montana. So good to see a few of you today. Um, hope you all had fun this weekend and now it is time for some really neat things today. I'm, I, I, it's always, I hardly ever know what I'm gonna do. And then all of a sudden I start thinking of something and then it I develop a plan for these Tuesday Facebook Lives and YouTubes. Hey Martina, good to see you this morning. Okay, let me, and Nancy Lund, I see you now. You know, the more you comment, the more people can find Facebook, help, you know, thumbs up, hearts, any of those things, comments, tell us where you, what state you're in and uh, what the weather's like, any of those things. That makes Facebook, thank you very much for the hearts. That make, shows Facebook that some people are watching and then they it's easier to find. I don't know how that works, but that's how it is. Okay, let's see if we can, I'm gonna move my computer out of the way a little bit and I'm gonna, you can close your eyes and we will flip the camera down And I will zoom in a little bit for you. This is, these are my cards to show you to set up. Um, this card, 
I wanted to show you things just with the dies. These are, we're not making these today, but I wanted, this is a new set of paper that's in our new catalog. And I, I don't know where my other card is. I cased a card that I made a year ago and, and it's from this, but I love these dies and they are carrying over color and contour. They're carrying over. This card, these sunflower um, dies and stamps are carrying over. However, and this is a card that stands up like this. I made this last year, but I really wanted to show you a few things. This wonderful frame, and it has like five frames in it. Those are retiring ornate frames. And it has, they've been in the catalog for two years, and it's been one of my favorites. Um, you can see some of this glitter paper underneath this pretty sunflower, the Ukraine, Ukraine sunflower colors or blue and yellow. Um, this stamp set you've seen me use many times, wishing you the happiest birthday. I love that big set. It's been in the catalog for two years. It has a happy little bit late birthday and it has this big one and it has this one too. It's your day. Enjoy. But anyway, happiest birthday is in the main catalog and it's retiring and it has been my go-to stamp for two years for sure. Um, I love this. This this is a brand new one. Faith is about trusting. And on the inside I wrote, hang in there, T stamped, hang in there. That's in a brand new stamp set. Okay, we're going to do some cards today that are we're going to, um, I cased myself. Case means copy and share everything. Well, I made these cards a couple of years ago, maybe four. Hey, Melissa, good to see you this out in California. Um, I made this card probably five years ago, but I saved it. I love this, this uh, type of card, this flap. It, it's alternating. It's a it's a card that meets in the middle, and then it has these flaps. And these are all retired things. This one's even a little faded, but I love this, and I had kept them, and uh, same thing here. So today I'm going to show you how to make these, but it's going to be with new paper. I'm going to do, this one is a, this one is like a vertical card, and then we're going to be making the horizontal format. So first the vertical and then the horizontal, okay? And these are all brand new things. You can't order them unless you're a demonstrator, but um, they're, they're a sneak peek. That's why it's the best uh, best reason, to I think, to become a demonstrator. You get 20% off, or tw sometimes 25 as you promote, but you get to pre-order things, so a month before everyone else. So right now, this is available for demonstrators, but not for customers until May 3rd. It's called Happiness Abounds, and the stamp looks like this. Beautiful for coloring with your blends or watercolor pencils, just gorgeous sentiments, and some really nice dyes. And the cool thing about these dyes I always put them, they don't come with, when I, my, it's all stuck in here now, but I need a pliers to get it out. Um, this is a magnetic board and I cut it down a little bit too big, I think, but here are the perforated edges. And then these cut out all the flowers and the leaves in the set. So let me show you that. Here is the designer paper. It's, I've left it on big sheets, but it's almost like a, I'm going to zoom out a little bit here so you can see this. Do you see it goes all, it goes this way with colorways, all the mambos and the pinks and the yellows. And then look at this sheet. Oh, isn't this gorgeous? And this is what I've, and then it has the, the uh, freesias and the purples and the heathers and, and it's just really neat. And all of these, here's another one that's sort of rainbowy and this one has little tiny vines on it. Um, it's really cool. And so it's sort of a neutral side on one side and then you can see that and then the other side. And look at this, just a, it has sort of an ombre use of flowers, I guess you'd say. Here's the navy, we're using this one today. 
Oh, hello. I'm glad you found us finally, Melissa. Good. Okay, and look at this. It's just beautiful paper. But the, the flowers can be cut out. This design, you know, you can stamp your flowers in your black memento ink, or you can cut them out like this. You know, you would just, you have to turn them until they, they fit. There, like that one goes there. And this one has a little stem on it. So you look for the one and that's, so that one, you have to cut it down because our machines are only six inches wide. So that one goes there. And then there's another one. This one goes there. And then the same with your little, your, your, uh, all the leaves. It's really quite, quite fun. It's fun to, uh, to die cut these. I just, you know, I spent maybe a half an hour, not very much really. And I die cut a lot of these flowers because I wasn't really sure what I was going to make. I mean, I knew I was going to do something with this paper, but I wasn't sure exactly what it was going to be. So um, I wasn't sure about the colors I was using. I was just sort of going from the paper. And the, I'm going to set that right there so I don't lose it. And then these are the uh, glossy dots that go with this whole suite. They're beautiful. And you get like 180 of them. They're all different sizes. So they're very nice. And we will bring our little papers out of here, my envelope of goodies. And let's see once here. We have, so the, whoops, I've just dropped a whole slew of things on the floor all my flowers. Um, so we have this one I've, I've used uh, Pool Party. That's one of the colors it tells in the back of our, you know, it always tells you in the back of the, of the, of the paper, or DSP, the white, it tells you the colors. Pool Party, Bermuda Bay, Gorgeous Grape. Anyway, it also has Coastal Cabana. So I thought we would do a Coastal Cabana one this time. And this is what we have for pieces. We have a base. This is just a regular five and a half by eight and a half. So five and a half by eight and a half. And then I scored it at two and one eighth from each side. Now there is, you can, if you like to use your scoreboard, then you could use, say two and one eighth plus six and three eighths. And I will write these down and they'll be on my, my video again. But quite honestly, I, I will just like, if I'm just doing one card, this is what I do. I just bring in my trimmer, go to two and one eighth, and I use the, the light scoring blade. I score it and then I just turn it around and do two and an eighth. I mean, that's something I, I don't want to cut it. The dark one is the cutting blade. So um, it's very easy. But on the scoreboard, I like to actually, when I'm using that, if I'm doing several, if I'm doing a swap or lots of cards, I always use my scoreboard. And then we're going to give this a good crease with our bone folder. That is a must have. And then the next things that we need are, I'm going to set that right there. So, um, okay, we're going to stamp on this little, these little tags. I love these tags. I'm really going to miss these. These are from the um, Happy Hippo. And you've heard me say this many times. I'm not real fond of the, I mean, I, I have, a lot of people have loved the stamp. It was too cutesy and too too many pieces, but I have loved these dies and they are retiring and they are, I don't know if they're on sale or not, but I have used these a lot for the different sizes. Love this one. So anyway, that is a, the hippo happiness is retiring. It's been in the catalog a couple of years. So this time I am going to um, show you the pieces that we're using. Okay, and I'm gonna set that right there. The designer paper that we need is two and one fourth by three and three fourths. And you need two of those. So I have two, but this one I've done a little differently. Instead of using two designer papers, I've used um, one sort of 
this the paint like one. Okay, we need cardstock. We we have two pieces of mats, two and a half by four. So those are the mats, and then the designer paper is going to go on top. So let's bring in our little adhesive uh, silicone mat, and I am going to. Let's see once here if I'm getting my camera down a little bit. I see like we need to, it's falling a little bit. There we go, tighten things up a little bit. I guess, there we go. And get my card out from underneath there, that makes more sense. So this is going to be the top one. We're gonna leave a little bit of an edge there. And then this one's going to go on the bottom. This piece has, it has the uh, pool party. Do you see this one is, this one has pool party and that's the coastal cabana and that's the mossy green in there. So we're gonna put those two on like that. And now this is how that will work. So we'll take this. This one is going to be on top and this one's going to be on the bottom and I'm going to bring in my Seal Plus. This is the dark, the navy blue one. And um, we just want to put a little adhesive on the left side of that. So I'm going to do it very gently, sort of lift up as you finish with the Plus. It's a little, it's much sturdier. And you want to have your, you want to have your, your margins even. Okay, so now it's loose right there. And on this one now, we want to do the opposite. So it's going to be on this side. So again, I'm going to bring my silicone mat in and very gently lift it up like that, almost backwards, when you're finished with it. There we go. Oh, Kathy, good to see you. I didn't see you. I was so busy concentrating on this. It's hard to know. Um, we're not going to use this one, but you can see I was experimenting with that little die, and it looks neat, but I decided not to use it. So, oh, Lisa, good to see Lisa, too. Um, it's hard to see all the comments, so they, they just fly by sometimes. Okay, now we're going to do our stamping. So we're going to do, we're going to, um, what I want is to put my stamp right here, and then I'm going to put flowers right there and maybe another one right there and some leaves. So I want to stamp as far to the left as possible. And so I'm going to bring take that away for a second and bring in my um, Pierce mat. This is a Pierce mat. This is a, a $5, maybe it's $6 essential. Um, it's so good. Anytime you have a photopolymer stamp, that means any time that you have a stamp set that's clear, that photopolymer, you you should use a piercing mat because it gives it cushion. Cushion. Um, any stamps that you have that have a cushion on them, like this one, this is my stampin' stamping stampin' up uh, angel policy stamp. Do you see that cushion right there? That you don't have that on the the photopolymer of the clear ones, so you need. You always need to have um, the piercing mat underneath. And I am just a, if you've ever been in any of my classes, I'm a big proponent of that. So we're going to stamp, we're going to stamp the word, uh, we're going to use congratulations on the other one. And we're going to use the word friend on this one. And wonderful in every way, I believe. Okay. And I think we'll stamp this flower at the bottom. So let's bring in our, I am going to sit down our white piece for the inside is four by five and a fourth. And I've just cut a half of a flower. It was really on the edge. So I'm just gonna put that right there. And uh, so we're gonna stamp our friend right there. The navy, we have, we're using navy, that's why we're navy closed today. We have a, just open our ink pads up and slide it back. And we have 
it is juicy for sure. So we're going to put friend right there. And we're going to clean that off with our chamois. And we can set that aside. And on the inside, we want to say, you are wonderful in every way. There we go. It's not a beautiful, beautiful script. Um, and then we, you know, you could stamp, you know, on the other one, I think I did stamp a flower on the inside, but in this one, I'm going to put the, the die cut. So, and so that's all the stamping we have to do right now, except for we're going to stamp on the back of our card. We're going to put our angel policy. Anytime you, you're selling cards, you're like, out, like in a business or something, then you should um, put a stamp that has that copyright stamping up. If you're just selling them to your friends, that one didn't, I didn't, I, I should have done that. I should have held it in place because cardstock, regular cardstock is more porous than our white or the vanilla. We have the most wonderful basic white. You cannot buy it anywhere except from stamping up. Um, there's probably there's a similar one that's in Nina, Wisconsin. It's called Nina Solar. But otherwise, you paper you would buy at Hobby Lobby or some places really porous and not good for stamping. So here is, I'm going to just give this a good little crease again. Now we're going to put our pieces together. We're going to uh, open up our card and I'm going to just put some adhesive on this flower. Just back to using my seal. I'm just going to put it on the edge. I think this is a great look. You can even use those flowers that are right on the edge that look like they've been cut in half. So we'll put some adhesive there and there, and then we will just put this in our card. So pretty. And now we can put this together. Now I'm going to stand up a little bit here and see, get this out of the way for a minute. There we go. That's better. Now we're going to put our friend on our, this piece. We're going to put that flat. I'm going to put it right out to the edge because our flowers are going to take up some room. And I'm going to put the big one on first. Like that. And I'm just going to sort of maybe like just about like that. And then we have to put um, some more flowers. We can do, here's another, this one's Coastal Cabana, that one's Pool Party. We can, we could put it like that. Now we can put it like that. I think we'll put this, we're going to put some dimensionals on these, some, um, let's see ones. Here we go. I was having a hard time picking my, I have been packing like crazy and cleaning out drawers. I am thankful to have a few more days left, but um, every day has to be something. And my fingernails are so short. I did. Um, I can barely pick up things. It's it's really a funny. It's a funny thing. They're so short. Of course, they always get a little shorter in, in Montana because it is so dry. When I'm in Florida, they grow like crazy. Um, okay, we're gonna put this flower on maybe right about there, off to the side, and this one. We're going to add three on this one. Whoops. And we could even add, no, I don't think we want to add, introduce a navy on the outside. We're going to just put it like that. And now we want to tuck a few of these got paper clips everywhere here. We got some little stems that I die cut, and we're just going to tuck those in. Let's see once. We're going to, where should we put those? That looks like a good spot. So I'm going to just put a little bit of, I'm just going to put a little adhesive just on that stem part and tuck it under because those are, those are uh, popped up. So they're good. And then this little one will maybe stick up here someplace, just like that. And just a tiny bit of adhesive. You could use your Tombow liquid glue or your, just stick it in there like that. 
You just don't want it to hang over the edge. And there we have that. And let's see, once we need to put some jams on the outside. Let's see. And we'll just slip, these are called glossy dots. Hmm, okay, we'll maybe use these. So we could use, we could, I want you to tell me about this now. This will be interesting. Um, the other ones, it wasn't, there was, it was real simple. So we could put a, a navy, the, the grape on there, like that. Or we could put the pool party. I'll just, <laughs> sorry, you can't see it. We could, I'm going to have to take off my sweater. I'm getting warm here. Um, well, we'll see. Maybe we'll stick with, what do you think? Maybe we'll stick with the pool party. That, uh, I don't, the purple looks like it's just a bit too dark. So we'll just take this with our pick tool, slide it off. We'll put one up here. And we're going to put another one down here on the bottom. These have an adhesive on them. And let's see, we th I think we need one more small one. And I don't know, where should we put that one? Maybe up here someplace, or we could put it right there. Hmm. Don't know. It almost looks like we need a couple right there with friend. We could do that. You have to make sure you get that little putty right toward the tip, sort of blot it together. Maybe we'll use, we'll put oh, one, two, three. Whoops, just like that. Friend. That's five on there. That's good. Three, five, seven. As long as you have an odd number in nature and you are wonderful in every way. Now, I probably should have chosen a different color right down there, but I didn't. So it'll it'll be okay. So it goes with that navy blue ink that we're using on this. Okay. Now, let's see once. Let's get the other card in. So which colorway do you, did you, do you like? Here we have Coastal Cabana. This one is Pool Party, but with all of that navy on there. Very, very different, but lots, very, very fun. This one opens up like this. This one I used the navy blue mats, and this one I used white. I also had thought about using um, the mats that were, uh, I even cut some that were mossy meadow, but they just seemed like they weren't, it just wasn't, I just didn't like, I decided to use the white instead. Okay, that's that card. That's one down, and let's bring in our other ones. Move these aside for now. And I see your re pool party. I like pool party. I like navy. Okay, this one. Okay, let's see what we have here. Um... I had never done one that opened up horizontally like this, but I, I love to do Sharon Armstrong. She's a demonstrator, a million dollar demonstrator in Texas, and she does um, mystery stamping. And I did, I, she gives the directions, the measurements, and you choose your own paper and your own stamps, and you have to come up, you don't even know what you're making. Anyway, that's how I came up with these cards, and I love them. I did tweak these papers a little bit more because um, originally I was I was working more with this paper and it was just I but I love this ombre look on the other side of the flowers so that's how I came up with it so this one I stamped right I stamped that happy birthday right on this paper on the light side this one I used a, a label and I can't remember what the name of these are called, but it was in our, it, they're carrying over into our new catalog. I love, it's something about seasons, but I love those. And uh, and then let's see, what do I have on the inside? You are a wonderful little flower down there. Um, sending many thanks. It's just the most beautiful script. And then this one is the birthday. I think this time we're going to do a congratulations because it's that time of year. It's graduation time. And... We seem to always need more graduation cards than we think we're going to need. So let's let's make a graduation card this time. I'm going to bring in the pieces. This one's just slightly different measurements. It's a long card. It is four. It's normally what you would call a top folding card. Four and a quarter by eleven. You're going to score it at two and three fourths plus 
eight and one fourth. So you just get your score tool and your your on your cutter or your scoreboard, and you're going to have it just fold right in to meet at the middle, like that. I'll just set that right there in case you want to take a screenshot. Okay, get those nice and creased. And then we need uh, two navy pieces that are one and three-fourths by five. And this is going to be for the flaps, like that. So we need two of those pieces. And then we have lots of designer paper here. We're going to use two sets of designer paper. And these are the back of this one. And we're going to use use it like that. And this measurement is one and a half by four and three fourths. Again, you need two. So what we're going to do is set those right there and right there. And then we're going to bring in, oh, um, the, I almost had a panic attack. I thought I didn't cut the designer paper, but there it is. Oh my goodness. Um, you need two sheets, two and a half by four. Oh, Nancy says, I love the colors. Yeah, I, I do too, they're just gorgeous. You can, you can go lots of different ways. So you need two of those. So let's put those on first and let's get our adhesive out. And let's see, we'll just put them like this. I, I, I like to keep my flowers sort of you know, I, used, I did a lot of sewing for years, and I always like to match plaids and things. I like to match the colors, too, on, on, on paper. You don't have to, but those of you who probably have been seems, you know, sewing all of your life, you're, you're going to want to do that. You know, paper crafting is really sort of a, it's sort of a lot of the companies that used to make sewing notions... Um, started making paper crafting supplies after a while. You know, sewing is not nearly as popular as it was like maybe when we were young. Okay, this is going to go like this. And we're going to put that on. When I started scrapbooking, that's how I started paper crafting. Um, there was a company called SEI, and it actually was a sewing company called So Easy Crafts. So Easy, So Easy Industry was the name of it, and they made a lot of scrapbooking. I don't even know if they're around anymore. They were a very big company in Utah. Um, loved it. Anyway, it's, it's going to go like that. And then we need an inside piece. And again, it's four by five and a fourth. And that's going to be our inside. And we'll just put that on right now and get it out of the way. Move that side. Okay. That's going to go like that. Isn't that pretty just by itself? It's beautiful. So we can... We can, I just think, I just thought it was fun to make them go opposite. You could make them go like this. That, that's fine too, but I really think, um, I also cut some other, some, some other strips like this, almost against so it had different colors in it. That would work too. But we'll just go with that today because that's what I have right there. And uh, it's really a, a fun, fun little formula. Okay, let's get out our... Um, Seal Plus, the strong. You can use tear tape or anything that's really strong. You can use Tombow. I like I, I like to use my tape runner. So um, we want to make sure we have a nice margin around there, like there. It's a nice even margin. And th we what that flap on the left. This one's going to be on the right. Okay, and. Put this one down there. There we are. And there's the inside. Now let's do our stamping. 
and we'll bring in some flowers and all of that. Let me bring in what, some of my labels. And uh, I just grabbed, you know, I have a whole drawer of labels. Um, when my granddaughter Grace was in high school, she used to do a lot of die cutting for me. And now I have, uh, Caitlin does a lot of die cutting for me too. If I have, you know, like 50 or 100 kind of things. So I have a whole drawer of different sizes and shapes and um and this one is from the Nature's Harvest die. That's a wonderful set that's carrying over Nature's Harvest. And so we're going to put that right there. We'll just put another one there just in case. And this one is going to be a congratulations. And we're going to get our navy blue ink out. Love our ink pads for sure. They're so nice. Okay, here we go. Our congratulations is going to go right there. And again, we're using our piercing mat. And we don't really need that one. We could do, oh, let's just do a happy birthday. Just so you can see that. Happy birthday is a, it's just a beautiful, I can see myself. This is sort of a, a font that I like, and uh, I I can see myself using it a lot. So that's our outside sentiment, and then we want to stamp something on the inside. So it's going to be a congratulations card, and we're going to write, I want to get my ink pad in, my card in there, ink. And so we're going to use this stamp that says, wishing you all the happiness you can imagine. There we go with that. And I think we'll stamp a little um, bouquet of flowers in the bottom, like that. And we could even stamp something on the envelope. You know, stamping up envelopes are just the smoothest and the nicest that you could ever imagine. We'll put a little rose on there. Um, where did I put my rose? Well, I just had it in my hand, I thought. Oh, we'll do, we'll do this one. It's very pretty. And we'll just put it right there. And then a beautiful rose for, you could color that in if you wanted. And we want to do one more thing and that's, I want to stamp my stamp on the back that was handmade. And this time I'm going to hold it. It's going to be navy on navy. So it's just going to give a little bit of an impression, but I did hold it and it turned out nicely. So, so that means you give, give stamping up the credit for designing the stamps. And that is it. So I'm going to close up this navy blue and put my piercing mat away for a second and bring our card in. Now let's do this decorating. And it's going to be a congratulations. So I think we need to bone fold this a little bit more, but I don't know what I do with my bone folder. Oh, there it is. Underneath the pile of things. Okay, I better look and see if there are some comments here. Um, okay, we're gonna put this on. We're gonna I know we're gonna we're gonna put the flowers on the right, so we are going to put the um The sentiment right up here, right in the middle. And now we're going to put on some flowers. And I have a whole bunch here, actually. I mean, I showed you my little dish of, I love these. This is the, you can't really see my blends are over here. And I've got my adhesives right here, all of them that's stamping up storage. But this is like the top for for different things, and I like the top part. I have several extras that I use. But anyway, so I picked out some flowers that I thought were had these colors. And so now we're gonna put these on. We can do like a dark one. My other card used a light one. So I think we'll, we'll do a darker one this time, but maybe with some other, let's see what we have here some stems we could even we could add in a yellow I think that might be really nice or what do you think um, do you think it might be better to use this light one 
It's just melon mambo, and then I don't know what this color is. Um, I don't know. Let me see what it says on the back of. So it says on the back here is where it says Coastal Cabana Daffodil Delight Flirty Flamingo. That's what it is. Fresh Freesia, Gorgeous Great Granny Apple Mango Melody Melon Mambo Mossy Meadow and Night of Navy Pool Party. So that's Flirty Flamingo. I don't want to lose my dyes over there. That's probably Flirty Flamingo and this one is Mango. Uh, this is Mambo. Melon Mambo. Okay, let's, I think we'll use, well, maybe we'll use this one. I think I'll use that one instead. So, I don't know, what do you like? Do you like this light one or do you like the darker one? The deeper color. Okay, you're someone's saying deeper color. Let's see. Hey, Cindy, good to see you in Colorado. How are things in Colorado these days? Are you getting, did you get, we had snow. Uh, we had, I guess last week, at, last week was one of the coldest weeks on record in April in the state of Montana. I'm gonna put some dimensionals on this now. And uh, we had snow several times and it all melted, but um, it's all just bare now. But we had, we'd have, actually Sunday morning, it was so slippery going to church. Oh my gosh, um, it was just like black ice almost. And um, let me see what's where my piercer is. There it is, can't, I, I don't function well without it. So, you know, some people like to use this piercing point, but, um, you know, it, some people like to use this end. It just flips like that. Um, that's the spatula ends to lift things up. And then, of course, this, you can use your brush. I have, I have a separate one for brush because I use a lot of, I use a lot of die cutting. And we're going to put this one maybe right there. So it still has to make sure we, it opens up. There we go. I probably should have cut off that congratulations. It's over a little bit too far. You're gonna move it like that. And now let's put some leaves in there. I don't think we're gonna need those other ones, but um, we'll use this one. Let's see what's here. You can just sort of, because I've used dimensionals, you can just sort of slide them around and see what looks good. You lift it up a little bit, as long as it doesn't hang over the edge of the card. I sort of like that. I think I'll do that. And then just put a little bit of adhesive on the stem part and just tuck it in there. Now, now it's sticking to everything. I can't get it to stick. Oh, it's not as nice, not exactly. There we go. It. I should have used Tombow, but I didn't. I think I'll just use one on there and... Uh, you know what? That's not where I wanted to put it. No wonder it didn't fit. I wanted to put it down here. Um, my goal was to, to do this. But anyway, we're crowding it all together. But um, let's see, this is crooked too, isn't it? Let me see if I can get that up a little bit. I'm gonna have to, oh, I'm gonna use my trip. You can blow on it. That hot breath will take that adhesive up a little bit. And you were all probably saying on that video, you were all saying, oh, she's gotten that crooked. Let's see once. And then I've got the flowers in the wrong spot. Well, anyway, now we need to balance it. We're going to have to use some more flowers. This one's going to be totally different. So we're going to do this. We're going to add some flowers down here. And it's totally... I should have been looking at the ones at my samples, but I wasn't. I think we'll just um, put start like that. Luckily, I have enough flowers cut. There we go. We'll just add that in there. And I think we could either add a, we probably need to add, um, no, I don't like the two, those two together, but Let's see, this might be good. I could do another yellow one right there. Let's see what else we have here in my little dish. Um, I, I did not plan to do five flowers on these, but let's see, let's, here's some, here are a few more of the colors. We can use those. And let's see once, I don't know. We'll just set those aside. And 
Let's see, what do you think? Maybe we should do another yellow one right there and then do a pink one. You ladies are probably thinking, you were probably watching me make all these mistakes and wondering, hmm, but you, I can't hear you. I can only read your comments. <laughs> oh, two looks balanced, thanks. Um, let's see once. Uh, we could even add, we could even add a different color in there. We could add a, we could add this color, but no, I don't really think that is, we could do that. Or we could add an, uh, we could add a couple like this. What do you think, ladies? What color should we use on there now? Now that we have all that open space, we have to somehow, I think we'll just, hmm not exactly what I had planned, but it will still be okay, I think. Maybe we should just use three. What do you think? Two looks balanced. Um, we'll tuck that in there like that. We'll do that. And maybe we need some gems or something. I don't want to just put four on there because that is not a... Uh, we want to do an uneven. Maybe we'll, we could do that. No, I don't think so. No. And maybe just adding some leaves will balance it a little bit. We'll add some of these darker leaves over here like that. I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive right there. Put those underneath. There we go, and uh, that sort of brings it over a little bit, and then we can put our gems on, and let's get all these things wiped up, and get our gems out, and let's see what we could add here. Again, we're gonna use the same, the same things, and uh, so we could use the purple on there, we could use the red, I think we use that. Um, melon Mambo color right there. And we're going to use another one right there, up there in that big spot there. And we could put a couple gems right there. And I think we'll do that. Um, just to, we'll add a couple more right over here. We'll do one. These are really stuck on there. Two, you can sort of move it over a little bit. Oops, a daisy. You can just, oops. Oh, I think we'll start over on that one. There we go. And one more. There we go. I think that'll be good. That's a good fix. And let's see what we have now. Let's see what we have for all of our cards that are the horizontal. Actually, I like it. What do you think? Here's one of the other ones with the birthday up here and the flowers there. And here is the other one that's totally different. And what do you think? Oh, thank you so much. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Oh, my goodness. I actually like that. I like the way it sort of flows. And that's how this these ombre colors are, too. Anyway, I think this is a must-have set. Happiness abounds. And I don't know what the hues of happiness, I think, is the name of the designer paper. But I think it's one that you're definitely going to want to get. Um, it's just gorgeous. And again, let me show you the cover of the Stamping Up catalog. And do you see this? There it is. Wishing you all, it's just a beautiful set of sentiments, I would predict. And they've used the back of this to put it on a card. It's just five and a half by eight and a half and fold it in half. And then they cut the designer paper and that little die does that stitching on there. But it's really a pretty set of, pretty cover. I think you'll enjoy it. Okay, let's close your eyes for a second. Oh, Cindy says, I like the mistake, love it. Here we go. Sometimes that's what happens. 
We have we make mistakes and we just have to fix them. They're not mistakes, really. They're just a whole new creation. So, all righty, friends. Um, I will plan to see you next Tuesday yet. And then the following week, we will be moving. And then the new catalog starts, too. So I will not be doing a video that week that we are moving. So, okay. Thank you so much for following along. I always appreciate it when you follow. And, and um, those of you who are, uh, you know, when I post this to YouTube, then you can share it with your friends, too. And I always appreciate sharing because then we have new followers too. So anyway, that's what how it works. You can't share it from the Facebook site, but you can share it from the YouTube site.